More than 400,000 Coloradans are currently living with diabetes. Another 1.3 million are at risk for developing the disease. Right now, our Karen Morford introduces us to one student working for the day there's a cure. DJ Smith has been playing lacrosse since he was six. I've always loved lacrosse. I love to pay, play for professional. I watch all the games. He started playing before he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. He still plays, but now he carefully tracks his blood sugar levels and insulin intake. This is basically my pancreas right here. DJ uses a pump to regulate his insulin and takes breaks when he feels like his sugar is low. He's not shy about his diagnosis. I want people to know that I'm a diabetic. I'm different. I really don't care. What he does care about is finding a cure. He has big plans for that day. The first thing I'm going to do when I'm a non-diabetic, go to Wyoming, buy a bunch of fireworks, and I'm just going to blow up my entire kit. His kit includes a glucose meter, test strips, needles, insulin, everything a diabetic has to carry every minute of every day. DJ is working for a cure by raising money for Tour de Cure, the American Diabetes Association's bike run and walk fundraiser. So I'm doing the 50K, which is third to five miles, and all my friends look at me and they're like, huh? And I'm like, yeah. DJ took his fundraising efforts to the nearest King Supers. He solicited for donations while wearing his Red Rider jersey. Yay, another one. Red Riders are Tour de Cure participants who are living with diabetes, but DJ is positive he won't be wearing that jersey forever. I can't wait until that day where I can go to Wyoming and blow up my kid. I can't wait till that day. <laughs> oh, DJ, take plenty of pictures for us, buddy. The American Diabetes Association's Tour de Cures this Saturday. It's at Salisbury Park in Parker. Visit CBSDenver.com to find out how to sign up or how to support DJ Smith's fundraising efforts.